Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, what I want to do is show you how to take a picture and properly save it for uploading into wardrobe. As you can see, I've changed out of my jeans and into the full bikini. Um, and we're going to use our pose stand and the in-world photo tools to go ahead and take a quick snapshot, save it to our computer, and upload it to wardrobe. So let's see how this works. I've got my pose stand here, which we got set up earlier. I'm going to go ahead and stand on it. And like I said, if RLV is enabled, I'm going to get this prompt. Do you want to have your lighting adjusted? I'll say yes. All right. And then what you want to do is choose a pose that you like. Let's see here. What's going to work for me? Mm -hmm -hmm. That'll work right there. All right. So what I really care about is the bikini. So I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, my camera tools and my uh, alt camming to go ahead and just zoom in here to get a picture of the bikini. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot. So control plus shift plus S will open up the snapshot floater. And I'm going to choose the option to save to disk. Now, if you don't see all of those different options, maybe you've uploaded to Flickr or something else, and you just see this, you can click on cancel to go back and make sure you're choosing save to disk. Now, wardrobe works best with images that are square. So I want to come into this drop down here and I want to find the option that lets me choose a custom size. And I want to set this to be 420 by 420. And the reason I choose 420 by 420 is that that's what wardrobe is going to scale things down to anyway. So I might as well just go ahead and take my picture at that resolution. And you'll notice that I've got a square picture here. Okay. Once you have your picture, it's framed the way you want, it shows what you want, you can go ahead and come here and choose Save As. And again, we're just going to go ahead and put it into this folder, and we're going to call this picture the Peach Ruffle Bikini. And you can name it whatever you want, just so you remember what it is. So there we go, we've got our picture taken. Let's go to our RLV folder, back to our clothing folder here. I'm going to go ahead and create another new folder, I'm going to call it Peach Ruffle Bikini. Remember, these folders need to match what's in Wardrobe exactly, and they have to be 100% unique inside of that RLV folder. You can never have any other folders in there called Peach Ruffle Bikini. So you want to make these things as specific as possible, but also easy enough to remember what they are. So I've got my Peach Ruffle Bikini, and I'm going to go ahead and create a subfolder here called, uh, let's call it Bikini Bottom. And we're going to create another subfolder here, and we're going to call it Bikini Top. A quick piece of advice, don't ever create a folder in RLV that matches the name of one of the attachment points of your body, like top or bottom or left hand or right hand or center, things like that. It can cause RLV to get confused. So it's best to put something in there other than just simply top or bottom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. Here's my bottoms. I'm going to move that into there, and here's my top. I'm going to move that into there. So that's ready to go. And again, we call this Peach Ruffle Kini. If you want to make sure you always get the name right, name it in one place, copy the name, and then when we pop back into our wardrobe here, we can go ahead and import and upload an image. And again, we're going to click here to add another image. Here's the one we just took. Choose Open. There's our image. We're going to go ahead and paste the name in there. And we're just going to tag this as Bikini. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the remarks and everything alone for right now and click Submit. So there it is. If I click on the Show Wear dialog, I can see the two items there. And if I wanted to, I could click Remove, and it would remove that from my avatar. The nice thing about this bikini is that it doesn't require any alpha layer, so it's really easy to work with. Anyway, so there we go. I can go ahead and stand up. And now we have three items in our wardrobe. And it's just as easy as that. We can keep going through this process again and again and again until everything that we have in our inventory has been added to wardrobe. Let's take a look at one other thing really quick. Because if I come into this object folder, earlier I was wearing some shoes. And they were these fashionably dead sneakers. So let me go ahead and put this all back on right here. Let's add that. Put those back on. So it's got an alpha layer for my feet. It's got the shoe base and it's got the um, sneakers themselves. Let's go ahead and add all three of those. And let's wait for Second Life to catch up. There we go. 
And there we go. All right, let's get back on our pose stand here and choose yes. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we can find a good pose that works for feet here. And let's try that right there. I'm just going to come in here and angle this a little bit. Again, you can change poses um, however you want so you get the best picture. That'll work for me right now. Okay. This time, though, I'm not going to take a picture and save it to my hard drive, but I'm actually going to take a picture and I'm going to email this directly into wardrobe. Okay. So to do this, what I need to do is I need to come back here to my CTS wardrobe folder. And inside here, you're going to find this note card that has this email address in it. I'm going to go ahead and copy it so that we have it. And I'm going to go Control Shift S again. And like I said before, you want to cancel if you're in where you were. And this time I want to send via email. And in the to line, I want to go ahead and put that email address we just copied. The subject line is going to be the name of our matching folder. So in this case, our shoes are called, just called uh, neon pink sneakers. So that's what we're going to call the folder, neon pink sneakers. The very first line of the body of the email message is going to be our tags. And we're going to call sneakers. I'm going to say comma shoes. And we're going to say comma, no, that's good enough. Just do those two tags for now. And if I wanted to, I could put, I have the hot pink. And that's our description line, or pardon me, our, our comments line. All right, so I've got all of these here. The one thing else I need to do is come into my settings here and set this to be a square, just like the other picture. And if I want to, I can line it up a little bit better, however I want to do it, like maybe like that, and click refresh. Nope, a little bit more. And refresh. There we go. That's nicely centered, so I can see those better now. And I can go ahead and just click on send. So while that's sending, let's go ahead and come to our RLV folder. And this time we're going to create a brand new top level folder. We're going to call it shoes. Again, these top level folders are really just about how you want to organize your stuff. Okay. Now I called these neon pink sneakers. So I'm going to choose a new folder, neon pink sneakers. And did it take it? There it goes. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder under that. I'm going to call it alpha and move that in. And I'm going to create a new folder under that and call it shoe base and put it under that. And I'm going to put a new folder under that and call it sneakers. And I'm going to move the sneakers into there. All right, so let's jump back over to my wardrobe. And notice we don't see it there. Well, that's because we need to refresh. Anytime you upload from email or through a lot of different ways. Really what you'll want to do is click refresh to make sure that you see all the latest stuff. And there's the picture that we emailed. And now if I click on my show where dialog, I should see all of those things. And I can click this unwear item, pop back over, close this down, and then back to my feet. All right, so let's go ahead and stand up. So that is our fourth item. Lots of different ways, as you can see, to upload your images into Wardrobe. It's very, very flexible. And as you get into using it more, you'll develop the ways that you like to work to make it easier for you. Each one of these ways is valid. They're totally up to you. So this is our the first part of our Getting Started Guide. I'm going to go ahead and get these videos uploaded and um, see how they do. And we'll go ahead and add some additional items to this as time goes on to get into slightly more advanced topics. But at this point, you should be able to start through the process of your inventory. My suggestion is do 10 items. Get 10 items uploaded and make sure that they work. Um, once those are uploaded and working, you should have a pretty good sense for how the system works and how you want to tag, and you can start doing more. But get those in there, test them out, make sure they work, and uh, happy wardrobing. Hope these videos have been helpful in getting you started and made the process a little bit easier to follow. Until next time.